rub off in your personal life? Did you find yourself at home suddenly breaking into song about what you've been up to that day? Well, I do, actually, I generally tend to do that, but only in awkward situations. If I'm in an awkward situation, I sing what's going on. So I sort of say, you know, sitting in a bar, having a drink, and everyone can just tell that I'm feeling incredibly uh, <laughs> uneasy. I think I'm it's a good way to doing an work. interview right now. Yep, that's one of them. Um, it's yeah. It's a good way to break the tension. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, or it just makes things a bit, that bit more awkward. I love it. Okay, fab. Um, now, a lot of people will recognise you from Skins. Um, and that was a very young cast, and obviously this was a young cast as well. Yeah. What is that like? And I want to hear about the pranks. Oh, well, the, it was... The, the, the sort of, you know, the four of us who played the youngsters in, in this became... Well, we became this little sort of crew and called ourselves the Pals. And literally, it just and you know, it's even to this day, we we see each other as often as we can. We see each other all the time, and it's just it's, it was be, it was such a beautiful experience because for some reason the casting was so perfect that we kind of already felt like this really connected, close knit, you know, friend circle when we started. And um, yeah, we I think in terms of pranks, we tried to fit in the word pals as many times into the film as possible. And actually I think Antonia manages to get it in. They managed to retain a bit of it where she, yeah, just... Were well, you allowed to ad-lib like that then? Well, I mean, for, well, you know, in kind of um, crowd scenes or when you're, at, you know, when you're kind of chatting at a bar or something like that with your, with the mates, then obviously you have to, yeah, you're not miming, which would be really awkward. <laughs> so now you're talking about obviously really good friendships. Um, yeah, it's, it's natural, obviously, when you're working so closely with people. Do you still keep in touch with many of your skins cast as well? I do actually. I'm actually um, going to be doing a play with uh, Will Merrick, who played. Well, he was the father of my child in the sixth series. So yeah, we're doing a play together in, a few, in like a week and a bit's time in London. So yeah, really, really, really close with yeah, pretty much all of them. Are they going to come and watch? I hope so. I hope so. There's that thing as well that everyone's sort of like, um, yeah, strewn around the whole of the UK. So it's it's um, catching each other at those rare moments that everyone's kind of, you yeah. know, in the same place at the same time. To be honest, it's not acceptable if they don't come and support you. Definitely. Don't I will be very, very angry. <laughs> Definitely. Um, let's talk about the White Queen as well. Um, this is quite a serious question. How do you keep your cool working alongside someone as hot as Max Irons? Um, he, well, he was playing my dad, so it's that, that, just that factor removes any, any, you know, attraction, physical or... Even the topless spiritual. scenes. Spiritual. Well, well, I wasn't in any of the topless scenes with him, you know. Um, White Queen's been shown in America as well. Would you ever consider a career in the States? Um... I guess I think it, like like anything, it just depends on you know if if there was a good if there was a good project if there was something that was interesting that grabbed my attention. But I'm I'm quite uh, keen to sort of focus on uh, UK work and French work because I've started doing work in France now, and you know in a sort of ideal you know ideal world it would be to sort of follow along the footsteps of not that I'm comparing myself to her. Oh sweet God, sweet God. Um, like Kristen Scott Thomas or Tilda Swinton or these or you know um, Diane Kruger who managed to balance kind of a European uh, yeah sort of European career which I think is just yeah it's, it's fantastic to be able to work in two languages.